Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this cute little amigurumi otter. This is so adorable. You know what I was thinking though? If you remove this tail, it could be like a teddy bear kind of thing. It's so cute and little and just a cute little plushie. I just love it so much and I cannot wait to share it with everybody. So let's get into the supplies and then we'll get into making this. Big huge thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn for this project today. They sent me this yarn to make this otter and I love it so much. This yarn, our main color, is going to be Cafe Latte, which is super saver yarn. And then for the stomach and the face here, this is called Warm Brown. And then for the little embellishment of the nose and eyes and mouth here is called Coffee. Now you can use the same exact yarn or so any type of polyester yarn to make amigurumi uh, toys. You're going to also need polyfill here. And you're going to need an F-sized crochet hook, which is 3.75 millimeters. Now, this fancy crochet hook is from the Etsy shop, Would Be Fancy. I'll link them in the description of this video so you can get this crochet hook, specifically ones like this, um, because they're hand-carved and they're ergonomic to fit in the palm of your hand, whether you crochet like me or if you crochet uh, like holding a pen. They are just so fancy, so easy to crochet with and the bigger handle creates a nice ergonomic feel and you can just crochet for a long period of time. I cannot rave about these enough you guys. You gotta, you really gotta get on these and get these crochet hooks. These are from the Etsy shop Would Be Fancy. Also you're going to need a scissors here and a yarn needle and you're going to have to cut your yarn, sew, in, sew things together, and sew in some ends. And then I also have a piece of yarn here, and this is just an extra piece of yarn for a stitch marker. If you have a legit stitch marker, you can use that, um, but I just am using a piece of yarn to... Um, yeah, mark my rounds because we're going to be working in continuous rounds and not um, slip stitching and chaining or anything. It's just continuous, like amigurumi style. And then I have some stuffing here. I don't know if I said that already, but I have some stuffing because we will stuff the arms and the body of this piece. So those are all the supplies you're going to need today. Before we begin, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video, so make sure to click the links to get the free crochet pattern on yarnutopia.com. There's also um, the links to my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all the social media. Make sure you're following Yarn Utopia on all the social media sites and uh, be sure to hit our subscribe button if you're watching on YouTube. Our subscriber count is growing so fast and I can't thank you all for supporting Yarn Utopia and allowing us to continue to bring you free crochet patterns. So I just say a big thank you to Red Heart Yarns, a big thank you to my dad behind me who's zooming in on all these stitches and doing a great job of filming this tutorial and editing it for everybody to see and I have to say a big thank you to you for watching. All right, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. All right, we're going to start off with our main color and we're going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, then fold, oops, flip it over. There we go. Fold this down and pull your long end through that hole right there and pull tight. That's a slip knot. Insert your hook and we can start. So we're going to start from the head down. So we're going to do the whole body and legs first and then we'll go on to adding the other pieces later. So this whole body part here, we are going to start at the top and we're going to chain two. So yarn over, pull through, one and two. Okay, in the second chain from the hook, we're going to put six single crochets. So go into the second chain right over here next to our slip knot, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both loops. Okay, that's a single crochet, and we'll be using a lot of those in this tutorial. <laughs> and we have to put six of those in this um, little chain here. So that was one, this is two, here's three four, five, and six. And I'm going to work in continuous rounds for this whole tutorial. So I'm going to grab a stitch marker and move my stitch marker into here. It's just an extra piece of yarn. If you have an extra, like an, a legit stitch marker, you can stick it in here to mark your 
beginning of your round, um, but I'm just going to put it in here and hope it stays. <laughs> and what we're going to do for round two is go into our very first stitch right here and make two single crochets in each stitch around. So in this very first stitch, make two single crochets. So there's one, go back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. There's two. Next stitch, put two in there, one and two. And just keep doing that in each stitch around. So at the end of round two, you'll have 12 single crochets. And I'm halfway there, so you can just continue watching. And we can go on to round three next. And on my last stitch right here. So if you need to count back 12, do that. Make sure you have your 12 stitches. And we can move our stitch marker up. So move the stitch marker up. We're going to go on to round three now. Put two single crochets in this first stitch right here. We're increasing again. So put two single crochets in the first stitch. One and two. Okay. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch. So one. And then we're just going to repeat that three stitch sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch, one. Okay, then two in the next, and then one in the next. And at the end of round three, you'll have 18 single crochets. So I'm just gonna finish this on camera here because you can just continue watching. I'm so close to the end. And obviously if I am going too fast for you, you can pause this or if I'm going too slow, you can fast forward. <laughs> okay, so you should have 18 stitches at the end of round three. Move your stitch marker up and let's go on to round four. For round four, we are going to put two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of these next two stitches. So one and one. And then repeat that four stitch sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of these next two stitches. And at the end of round four, you'll have 24 single crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll go on to the next round together. All right, it's getting bigger. We have 24 stitches around, moving our stitch marker up. We are going to go on to round five. So let's put two single crochets in this first stitch. I know my stitch marker is covering it. There we go. Two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches for this round. So one, one, and one. And then repeat that five stitch sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches and then just repeat. So at the end of round five, you'll have 30 single crochets. So I'll do that and then I'll come back. We'll go on to round six next. All right, moving the stitch marker up, going on to round six now. We, you should have 30 stitches around at this point. So for round six, we're gonna increase again. Let's put two single crochets in the first stitch right here, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. So this is one, next stitch, one stitch, next stitch, one stitch, and the next stitch, one stitch. And then just repeat that six stitch repeat all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of the next four stitches and then repeat. At the end of round six, you will have 36 single crochets. So I'll do that and then we can go on to round seven. 
All right, so now we're gonna go on to round seven, moving our stitch marker up. Actually, round seven through round 25, <laughs> I know that's a lot of rounds, we are just gonna put one single crochet into each stitch around. So we're actually done increasing at this point. So just put one single crochet in the first stitch and one single crochet in the rest of the stitches around on this round. And that's actually for rounds seven, which is what I'm working on now, round seven through 25. Okay, so when I finish round 25, it's just one single crochet in each stitch around. Each round will have 36 single crochets, okay? So when I finish round 25, I'll come back on camera. Um, you may have to obviously pause this because it'll take you some time to get to round 25. But then once we get to round 25, it's just this repeat, just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. I'll come back and we'll go on to the next step. All right, welcome back. I just finished round 25. So we did rounds seven. Here's my line. You can see the lines here. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Okay. So now going on to the next round, I'm actually going to take my stitch marker out and move it up, up here. Okay, what we're going to do now is actually make two separate legs. Okay, so if you want to like kind of fold this in half here, you can see we're going to make a leg here and a leg here. Okay, so how we're going to do that uh, for this next part, we're going to do one of the legs. So round 26 for one of the legs, we're going to single crochet into six stitches. So go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so there's one, next stitch two, next stitch three, four, five, and six. Now what we're actually going to do, I'm going to actually pull this out here, pull this up. What we're going to do is count back from our stitch marker six stitches back. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, right here. If you want to, you can stick something in there and mark it or just kind of eyeball it and make sure that that's your sixth stitch. So there's six stitches back. Okay, I just put my needle in there. <laughs> but what we're going to do is now is insert our hook in here, come back through. You can fold this. Oh, sorry. There we go. We're going to fold this around. Okay, so I kind of flipped it around. So you can fold this in half and then flip it like this. So we're gonna come to that sixth stitch where I marked it with my needle, okay? So we're gonna come through there and go into that stitch, okay? And we're gonna single crochet into there. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we just created a single crochet into there. So that creates one of the legs. So we're doing a single crochet in the rest of these stitches here. There should be six stitches. So one, two, here's three, four, five, and six. Fabulous. So that's round 26 in the pattern, okay? Now rounds 27, 28, 29, and 30, the next four rounds, we're just going to single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. So if you want to move your stitch marker up, you can single crochet in this first stitch. That's my stitch marker is covering it. Okay. Single crochet once in each of these 12 stitches around now. And that's what we're going to do for the next four rounds. So rounds 27, 28, 29, and round 30. Once I'm finished with round 30, I'll come back and we'll go on to round 31 next. All right, I just did round 27, 28, 29, and 30, just single crocheted around. So you can see that's the leg. So we're gonna close this up now. So let's go on to round 31, moving my stitch marker up. We are going to single crochet two together six times. <laughs> so go into this first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, go into the very next stitch, yarn over and pull through, 
And now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And that is a single crochet two together stitch because those two stitches turn into one. So let's do that all the way around. So single crochet two together in these next two stitches. So go in to this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And there's two. Going into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through, next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. There's three. Here's four. It's gonna get pretty tight. Okay, here's five. And last one here is six. <laughs> if I can get it in there. There we go, six. Awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is remove this stitch marker. And what we're gonna do now is single crochet the first and the fourth stitches together. So if you look at your stitches and count them around, your first stitch is this next one right here, okay? Then your fourth stitch, if you count them, this is the first, second, third, and fourth is straight across the way right here. We're just gonna go straight across, just like that. Okay, and there's five and six, okay? Then we're gonna take our yarn and yarn over it, pull through all of that. Okay, so there's two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and then we can fasten off so chain one and cut this yarn and then pull that through pull tight and you can take your yarn needle from this side here or i'm sorry your crochet hook you can take your yarn needle and do it too but just grab it from the outside and pull it to the inside because nobody's going to see the inside See, maybe it is better to do a yarn needle. <laughs> there we go. And then you can just pull that tight. And we'll be stuffing this later. So there it is. One of the legs is complete. So now what we're going to do, turn this upside down here. So we're looking at it here. And we're going to count across here six stitches. So let me grab my needle here. So I'm going to mark my rounds. Okay, so not this stitch because we worked in there already. You can see there. This stitch is worked into here. So skip this stitch is first one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So skip all these. Go into this next one here, the seventh stitch. We're going to work in there. So I'm actually just going to put my hook into there. And then we're going to grab our yarn hook that on, pull it through, okay, I kind of just folded it, okay, chain up one, what I like to do is kind of wrap this around a few times, I don't know how well that helps, but it might, oopsie, there we go, chain one with your working yarn, and now we're on there, pretty secure. Then we are going to single crochet in the same stitch, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, two. Okay, and we're gonna single crochet in 12 stitches total. So that was one, go into the next, here's two, here's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. And you can see back here, there should be six stitches left unworked. One, two, three, four, five, six. So perfect. So now going to the front here, if you want to, you can put your stitch marker in there like this. You can go to your first stitch right here. Okay, go in to that first stitch and then single crochet around. And this is, so this round that we just finished, that's round 26. So now we're gonna do rounds 27 and 30, just 27 to 30, just like we did this over here. And then we'll do round 31 to close it. 
So basically the rest of this is exactly that what you did on this side. So if you want to, you can just rewind this and see what I did for that side. But I'm just gonna finish rounds 27 through 31 and fasten this off. And once my um, leg is fastened off, we can go on to the next step. All right, just fastening off this piece and sewing in this end here to the inside. And I ended up doing a little bit off camera stuff um, because I'll show you what we're gonna do next. We have to make an ear and an arm next. So I attached one of the ears and one of the arms. I can show you how to make one and the other one and then you can do the other two on your own. Um, so I'm gonna show you, just leave this open right here for now because we will be trying to get into here and also um, stuffing this later. So just leave this open and we have the legs all finished for now. So right now we're gonna show, I'm gonna show you how to make the ear. Then after the ear is done we'll make the arm and then after the arm, we'll make the tail. So all with the same color of yarn. So let's grab our yarn, grab our uh, hook here. Let's make a slip knot. And for the ear, super simple, we are going to chain two, one and two. And in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna put six single crochets. So one, two, three, and four, or I'm sorry, we have to do two more of that. <laughs> I thought it was just four. One, two, three, four, five, and here we go, six. Okay, now you can stick your stitch marker, whoopsie, that was in this piece. Okay, you can stick your stitch marker in here if you would like, right there. And what we're gonna do is put two single crochets in our first stitch right here. So go into your first stitch, put two single crochets in there, one and two. And then in the next two stitches, we're just gonna put one single crochet. So this is round two already. So go into this next stitch here, just put one. And this next stitch here, just put one. Okay, and then repeat that one more time. So put two single crochets in the next stitch right here, one and two, and then put one single crochet in the last two stitches. So one and one. All right, and that was round two. Move your stitch marker up, going on to round three. It says rounds three and four are just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. So no increasing or anything like that. Just putting one single crochet in each of, there should be eight single crochets around for each of those rounds. So round three and four, just put one single crochet in each stitch. I'll come back and we'll go on to the next step. All right, I just did rounds three and four here. So we can fasten this off. So I'm gonna go into this next stitch right here. Okay, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. That's a slip stitch. And we're gonna chain one. We're gonna cut our yarn kind of long for sewing and pull it all the way through that chain one there and pull tight. Okay, then we're gonna remove our stitch marker here. And our little straggler, we can kind of just shove it inside or you can cut it short, totally up to you. Okay. And then flatten this piece, kind of squish it together, making sure one of these sides has our strand that we cut for sewing. Okay, just like this. So flatten it. That's the ear. So you have to make two of these. And once you have two of these made, we want to grab our yarn needle and sew this on the top of our otter's head. So we're going to line it up probably around, let's see, one, two, three, round four. Okay, at the top here. And we're just gonna go around the top. So you can see I kind of flattened this piece and you can see the top of our head. Okay, we're just gonna go in to our piece and just whip stitch this. So go into the ear. OK, 
Okay, it's easier to do it when it's laying down on a table, but since I'm on camera, I'm trying to show you. <laughs> so take your time and um, try to make it work. But mine might look a little different than yours because I'm trying to do this upright here. So you can see we're just going into the ear. Make sure you go through both layers of the ear and then into your piece. At this point, it's kind of looking like a teddy bear, which is actually very cute, and you could make this a teddy bear if you wanted to. Okay. And then back down into the ear, or into the body here. And I'm just whip stitching this. All right, once you have it fully attached where you want it to be. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? We're gonna end in the back here, and on the back side, we're just gonna go through a few of the stitches. Okay, just like this. I'm gonna keep my finger in the loop like this, and then I'm gonna come back through the loop, remove my finger, and pull. And you can pull tight. You can do that once or twice. And then you just want to end up in the inside of the body. And that's why we have that open hole on the bottom because we are going to go through there and pull from the inside and pull everything. Just like that. And there's your ears on your piece. So you have to just make two of those and sew those at the top there and then make sure all your ends are just on the inside of your piece there. So they're going to all be hidden later when we close up this bottom. So next I'm going to show you how to make the arm. Alright, so I'm just going to set this aside and we can start the arm. So let's make a slip knot. You already know how to do that. Insert your hook and we can begin. So let's start out by chaining two, just like we start all of our pieces. And in the second chain from the hook, put six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six and insert your stitch marker. We're going to work in continuous rounds again. And this next round is uh, basically round two of the body. <laughs> We're going to make two single crochets in each stitch around. So I'm going to go a little bit faster on this piece just because this is very similar to how we've been working um, with the single crochets and increases. So on round two, we're putting two single crochets in each stitch around, and that will get us 12 single crochets. So I'll do that, and then uh, we'll go on to round three. All right, moving my stitch marker up, going on to round three now. For rounds three, four, five, and six. The next four rounds, we are going to just put one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so... No more increases or anything. We're just putting one single crochet in each stitch around for rounds three through six. And once I finish round six, I will come back, we'll fasten this off and attach it to our body. All right, so I just did rounds three, four, five, and six. So now I'm gonna sl uh, slip stitch into this next stitch here. We're gonna fasten off. So go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through, and then chain one, and we're gonna cut our yarn long for sewing, and then pull it all the way through, and then pull tight, and we can remove our stitch marker. And for this piece, we are going to stuff it with some polyfill some stuffing. So lightly stuff this piece. Um, doesn't have to, you know, obviously don't overstuff so you see your polyfill through your stitches. But just stuff it enough so that it's squishy. <laughs> and once you have this piece stuffed, that's good, we are going to attach it to the body. So we're going to attach it in the same way we attach these ears to the side here. So 
and you can go up or down or wherever you want. So I'm going to grab my yarn needle. Da -da -da. There we go. And yarn my needle, just like this. And what I ended up doing for this other arm, there you go, uh, is actually putting my hand inside and then kind of uh, like separating this here so that it's kind of flat. And I'm going to just go across here to about this row at the top and I'm just going to go in and then out. Okay, and we're going to kind of go around in a circle rather than uh, sewing it flat. Okay, so I'm going to kind of go like this. And we're going to go in each stitch and then into the arm and we're just going to go back and forth. Okay, and then out the body and then into the next stitch. Okay, then into the next stitch here. And obviously you can take your time and <laughs> it's going to be easier when you put it on, like, on a table or something. It's just, like I said earlier, i got to hold this up <laughs> so you can see where exactly to go. But, oh my goodness, that's so cute. Okay, I'm going to come upwards. Actually, I'm going to take this one out. So you can kind of um, eyeball it and uh, go where you need it to. Don't let your polyfill fall out. <laughs> and it is it can get a little tricky to get the arms in because you gotta move this all around and see your stitches and where you need to go. There we go. Okay, and then back in here. Almost done. And then we're just going to fasten off the same way we did with the ears. Oh, and I'm back around already. So you can just watch what I'm going to do here. Okay, so I'm just going around a few of the stitches just like this, keeping my finger in the loop, and then coming back through the loop, removing my finger, and pulling. Okay, and then this can just go to the inside. Oops. I didn't get all of it. Oh my goodness, I gotta pull this from the inside. I can't get to it. Oh my gosh. Crafting problems. I'm just going to try to pull this here. There we go. Got it. <laughs> okay. And then I got some polyfill on the outside here. Sorry about that. All right. So this is, oh my gosh, what it looks like so far. Again, it's starting to kind of look like a teddy bear, but once we add the tail, it definitely will look like an otter. So what, that's what we're going to do next. So let me grab some more yarn and we'll make the tail now. All right, we're still using the same color. We're gonna make the tail next. So let's make our slip knot. I know this has a lot of pieces to it, <laughs> but once you, as you sew it, like if you're sewing it as you go, it's much easier than having all the pieces and sewing them at once. So for the tail, we are going to chain two, just like we were earlier and six single crochets in the second chain from the hook exactly like we did earlier so one here's two three four five and six and now at this point if you want to put a stitch marker in here you can uh, for this part I am NOT going to because this next uh, round is just putting one single crochet in each stitch around and it's kind of hard when I have a stitch marker in here to see my stitches so just keep in mind we are going on round two now and we're just gonna put one single crochet oopsie 
into each stitch around. So go into your very first stitch right here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two. Then hop to the next and single crochet. So that's our second one. Here's number three. It's going to be pretty tight too. So you want to, if your stitch marker gets in the way, you can just opt not to use it for round two because it's only six stitches anyways. Okay, and here's my last stitch right here. There we go. Okay, now you can kind of wiggle this so that your stitches are upwards and that will just create a point at the end of our tail. Okay, so this is the tip of our tail. Okay, so now I can insert my stitch marker and going on to the next round, we are going to increase. So for round three, we are going to put two single crochets in this next stitch. I know it's hard to see, but this is the next stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. And again, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's two single crochets in the first stitch. We're going to put one single crochet in the next stitch and we're just going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So put two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch right here. Okay, and we just have to do that one more time. So two single crochets in this next stitch here one and two, and then one single crochet in the last stitch. So you should have nine single crochets on this round three. Going on to round four, move the stitch marker up. We are going to put two single crochets in the first stitch right here, two single crochets in there, one and two, and then one single crochet in each of these next two stitches. So one in this next one and one in this next one. Okay, and then just repeat that four stitch sequence all the way around. So two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. One and one. And we have to do that one more time for a third repeat here. Two single crochets in the next stitch and then one single crochet in each of these next two stitches. And you should have 12 single crochets at the end of round four. Going on to round five now, our increase is gonna be a little different. We're going to basically do the same repeat we did for round three. So move our stitch marker up, put two single crochets in this first stitch, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch one. Okay, then two in the next, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. And just repeat, two in the next, one in the next, two in the next, one in the next. And you should have 18 single crochets at the end of round five. So I'll do that and then I'll come back and we'll go on to round six next. All right, moving the stitch marker up, I have 18 stitches around. So for the next three rounds, round six, seven, and eight, we are just going to put one single crochet in each stitch around. So no increasing anymore. We're just gonna put one single crochet into each stitch around, just like this. And then once I finish round eight, so I'm gonna do that for round six, seven, and eight, and once I'm finished with round eight, I will come back. We'll go on to round nine next. All right, I just finished rounds six, seven, and eight. Now moving the stitch marker up, we can go on to round nine. We're gonna decrease at this point. So let's put a single crochet two together stitch in this next two stitches here. So the stitch right here, go in, yarn over, pull through, go into the next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops on your hook. And that's a single crochet two together stitch. You already know, we already did that before. <laughs> okay, then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, then single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next stitch. 
Okay, and we're just gonna repeat that all the way around. So single crochet two together, and then single crochet in the next stitch. And at the end of round nine, um, you will have 12 single crochets. So, oh, you know what? I'm actually almost finished, so you can just continue watching, and we can go on to the next round right after this stitch. So rounds 10 through 14, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, five rounds. Okay, the next five rounds we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around. So no more decreasing here. We're just going to go into this first stitch. I know my stitch marker keeps blocking it. Single crochet into each stitch around for the next five rounds, rounds 10 through 14. And once we're finished with that, I'll come back. We'll go on to round 15 next. All right, just finished round 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Moving the stitch marker up, we can go on to round 15. We're going to single crochet two together six times, kind of like the last round we did on the legs of the body here. We're just single crochet these next two stitches together, and then single crochet the next two stitches together. And we're going to have six stitches at the end of this round. So you could just keep watching because I just have three left to do and I'm going a little bit faster. If I'm going a little too fast you can always pause this, catch up to me, and then um, continue on. And if I'm going too slow you can always um, <laughs> fast forward. <laughs> so going on to round 16 after this. I know it's going to get really tight. Um, I don't know if I should even put this up here. Well, what we're going to do is just put one round of single crochets. So I'm actually not even going to move my stitch marker up. I'm just going to count my stitches and we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around for round 16. So this is round 16 now and I'm just putting one single crochet in each stitch around. So here we go. One, two, three. Here's four five and six. So there should be six stitches. Now we can fasten this off with a tail to uh, sew. So we're going to go into this next stitch, yarn over, pull through and through, then chain one, cut your yarn so you can sew this to your body, pull it through all the way, pull tight, grab your stitch marker out of there, Flatten this piece completely. That looks like a tail. <laughs> How cute. So then you can grab your body and you can decide which side you want to be the front. I'm going to decide this one is going to be the front. So we're going to just sew this on. Now I kind of want it um, kind of off center and like kind of tipped a little bit. So I'm going to kind of play around with it. And you want it pretty low. So I think I'm going to go right here. You can stretch it out a little bit. And I think I'm going to go right here, like this. Okay? So I'm going to sew it like that, kind of off center and tipped a little bit. And I'm going to grab my yarn needle. And we're going to sew this uh, pretty much exactly like we did the ear to this piece. So we're going to go see just in and out both layers just like that and then kind of whip stitching I guess just like that and again just like this okay Kind of see how that looks. And it's kind of mobile. You can kind of move it around too. That's cute. All right, we'll leave it that way. And to fasten this off, just go underneath a couple of the stitches. Okay, keep your finger in the loop. Come back through the loop and pull. 
Okay. And then just hide this to the inside. And then put it into the inside of everything. All right. It's starting to look like an otter, especially with that tail. All right. Next, we want to make the face and the belly stomach covering here. So let me grab some light brown yarn here. I'm going to set this aside. And these next two pieces are pretty simple. Let's see here. For the otter stomach, let's do the stomach belly part first. Um, I'm using a warm brown, so a different color for this part. And we are going to... Start off by chaining two. Actually, you know what? You probably don't even have to watch me do this whole thing. Um, it is rounds one through five of the body, okay? So if you want to rewind this, I can actually just let you do rounds one through five of our body, which is uh, for round one, six single crochets in the second chain from the hook. Round two is two single crochets in each stitch around. Round three is two single crochets in the next stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch all the way around six times there. That's 18 the stitches. Then we have the next round would be 24 stitches and the round five would be 30 stitches. And we did that for the body. So if you want to rewind this and see exactly what I did, uh, it will save time and we will attach this once I finish. All right, when you're finished, you can slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten this piece off. So I have 30 stitches around, and you want to fasten off with a long tail for sewing. Pull it all the way through and pull tight, okay? So you can make it more of a circular piece. And then we're going to sew it down on the belly area of... <laughs> This is going to be so cute. I'm so excited. Okay, on the otter. So now we're going to just yarn our needle. Make sure not to sew the two layers together. So I'm going to put my hand inside of this piece here. Let me just position this really low. Because we're still going to put a piece up here for the face. Okay, so position this low right here. And you can just go in the body just for the first one here and then out the next stitch and it'll be a lot easier to work now we're just going to go in and out okay in and out just like this and you can do that all the way around and then fasten off like I showed you earlier how to fasten off all the rest of these little motif pieces and once I have this attached I'll come back and be ready to make the face all right so I just um, yeah attached that and now we're gonna make the face <laughs> So the next thing is to use the same color that we used for the stomach part. So I'm using this warm brown color and we are going to start off with a slip knot and insert our piece or our hook here. And um, this is actually our last piece on the body. So what we're going to do is chain two one and two and in that second chain from the hook put six single crochets just like we've been doing for pretty much every single piece now <laughs> I know it's getting redundant here one two three four five and six now at this point we are actually going to slip stitch to the first single crochet so go into this first single crochet stitch yarn over pull through and pull through okay and that's round one now going on to round two we are going to chain up three one 
two and three. And in the same stitch that we just um, slip stitch two and chained up three in, we're gonna put a double crochet in there. So yarn over, go into that same stitch that we just slip stitched into, yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through these other two loops. So now it actually looks like there's two stitches in that first stitch. This chain of three stitch counts as a double crochet, and there's a double crochet there. Now in this next stitch right here, we are going to put a half double crochet and a single crochet. So yarn over, go into this next stitch here, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. Okay? And then in the same stitch, put a single crochet. Now in the very next stitch, we are going to put a single crochet. So go in, make your single crochet, and in that same stitch, we're gonna put a half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, grab this here, yarn over, pull through, oopsie, lost my loops here. Yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. Okay, try not to lose all your loops there. <laughs> okay, so it's the first stitch is two double crochets, next stitch is half double crochet and single crochet, next stitch is single crochet and half double crochet, and we're gonna repeat that one more time. So put two double crochets into the next stitch. So one and two, and then in the next stitch we have half double crochet, and single crochet. And then in the stitch, this last stitch of this round, uh, we have to do a single crochet and a half double crochet. Okay, and then we're gonna slip stitch to the first chain up three stitch right here. One, two, three, right at the top there, just insert your hook, whoopsie, into, it's gonna be kinda of tough because this hook is so small. So go into this front loop and this back loop, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. All right, that was round two. So you should have 12 stitches. Going on to round three next, we're just gonna chain one. And in this first stitch here, we are going to put two half double crochets. So yarn over, go into the very first stitch that we just slip stitched into, this chain up three stitch we just slip stitched into there, make two half double crochets into that stitch. So there's one, yarn over, pull through, or yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through. It's kind of tough here. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops. There, I hope you're gonna see that one, sorry about that. Then going into the next stitch here, we're gonna put two half double crochets in that next stitch. So the first two stitches get two half double crochets in each one of those. So there's one and one. Okay, so two and two. Now in the next four stitches, we're gonna put, put one half double crochet in each one of those. So one, next stitch, one, next stitch, one, and the next stitch, one. Now in each of these next two stitches, here and here, we're gonna put two half double crochets in each one of those. So one and two, and the next stitch gets two as well. One and two. And you should have four stitches left. We're just gonna put one half double crochet in the rest of the stitches around. So one, two, three, and four. And then slip stitch to your first half double crochet, okay? Ignore this chain up one right here. You can barely see it. So just go into your first half double crochet stitch right here. Yarn over, pull through, and through. 
Okay, it kind of is bowling up. You can stretch this out. We've got one more round to go. Let's chain up one. And in the first four stitches, so the first stitch that we just slip stitched into, this stitch, next stitch, this stitch, and this next stitch here, these first four stitches, we're going to put two half double crochets in each one of those. So yarn over, go into this first stitch, put two half double crochets in there. One and two. And the next stitch here, one and two. Next stitch, one and two. And this next stitch here gets two as well. One and two. Awesome. Now in the next four stitches, we're just gonna put one half double crochet in each of the next four stitches here. So just one up to the next, just one, up to the next, just one half double crochet. These are all half double crochets too, by the way. And next one just gets one. And now we're just gonna repeat that sequence one more time. So next four stitches here, one, two, three, and four, these four stitches get two half double crochets each. So one and two, and then hop to the next, right here one and two and the next one and two and the next one and two and then you should have four stitches left we're just going to put one half double crochet in each of the rest of the stitches on this round which is just four stitches and that's the face. So now we're gonna just slip stitch to the first half double crochet stitch right here. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through, then chain one. We're gonna cut our yarn long for sewing and pull it all the way through that chain one and pull tight. You can stretch this out. It should be an oval, an oval shape. Okay, and then you can see here, it will fit onto our face right there, okay? But before we attach this, we're going to embroider a face. Now I'm just gonna show you part of it, and I already have one done off camera here, so, because I'm really bad at embroidering on the spot on camera, <laughs> so I just wanna show you how to start it, and then you can embroider your face um, by using the image on my website or this video um, as a guide. Okay, so we're just gonna yarn our needle. I got dark brown yarn. Okay, we're gonna start with the nose. Okay, so it, where the nose is gonna go from here and it's gonna be a triangle. So it's going to come from, we're gonna go from the back here to the center of this piece, then come down to one side and just keep coming back through to the front here. And we want actually a lot of yarn because we're going to use it for making the mouth too. So let me grab some. There we go. Okay. And then we're just going to come over and just keep going until we've made a triangle. Now I am obviously going very quickly for the camera but I highly suggest you take your time and make it super cute because this otter is gonna be just so cute when it's done. I'm so excited about it. And you can just wrap about, I don't know, six, seven times or so. Okay, and then we wanna end down here at the base of the nose and we're gonna come out the bottom here just like this and we're gonna make the mouth. So we're gonna go from one side. Oops, I got caught. There we go, one side. And then we're gonna go back into the brown and then out the brown, dark brown here, dark brown. Go into the actual um, yarn through the ply of the yarn. Go across to the other side, kind of making a smiley face. Oops, we want to go here and here. Okay, and then go back in and then come out to the center 
right under the nose and then go up to the nose and go in. Cute! Oh my gosh, that's a cute little mouth. Okay, then what we're gonna do is cut this in the back. So I gotta use my table here to cut this. Okay, and then just take these two strands back here and tie them in a knot because nobody's gonna see this. Uh, it's gonna be behind the piece and it's gonna be completely hidden so nobody is even gonna be able to tell how you did that. Now if you have safety eyes, you can attach safety eyes. Otherwise, actually I kind of like this face better. I usually don't do well with embroidering on camera, but that's actually a cute little face. Okay, so now we're just going to make two eyes in the same color here. So let me grab some more yarn. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, we're so close to being done, you guys. Just bear with me. We're going to go on this side depending on how these eyes look on my piece. Um, now, like I said, you can use safety eyes or you can embroider your eyes. And that's what I'm doing here. Just going in and out on this side. Cute, I might do one more. Make them a little bit bigger. Whoopsie. I've got my yarn tangled. There we go. Okay. Awesome. And then that one can just be cut and done. And then I got to make the other eye. And then we can attach this to our body. All right, so I uh, made my eye, and then I just sewed this piece on the body exactly how we sewed on the belly. So uh, just going in and out, in and out, and then tying it off. And that's what it looks like so far. So now we just have to stuff this and uh, sew this bottom up. So make sure all your ends are in the inside here. And then grab your stuffing and go into, first off, into each leg. It's going to be much easier. If you go into each leg first and then go into the body. Okay? And you just want to stuff it. Uh, you don't want to overstuff. I know I said that earlier when we were doing the arms. Do not overstuff this piece um, so you see the polyfill um, in between the stitches because that doesn't look very good. And also spread it out. Um, as best as you can. This piece should stay a little bit flatter, not so pu I mean, you can make a little pudgy otter, but <laughs> you don't have to. Um, but I'm kind of kind of make it a little bit flat. Okay. And once you're comfortable with the amount of stuffing you've added, we can close up the bottom. I think that's, oh my gosh, I love it. That's so cute. Okay, so it kind of looks like a little teddy bear, but this tail makes it look like an otter. So we're going to grab our main color that we used for the body, and we're going to close up this bottom. So this is just a yarn that's just attached to my ball of yarn. Okay, and we're just going to go back and forth here. So I'm going to do a mattress stitch. Mattress stitch is just going back and forth from the inside out. Okay. Inside out. Inside out. Whoops. Inside out. Inside out. That way it just um, sews it closed flat because when you do a whip stitch, it kind of has like a almost like a little ridge and we don't want that. We want it just so flat. So I'm just going to kind of do it like a shoelace. Back and forth. Oops, almost done here. And then we can fasten this part off and enjoy our little otter. Okay, so that bottom's closed. Okay, so I'm going to come around a couple of the stitches. Oops. 
come back through that loop and make my knot. Okay, make sure that's secure. And do the same thing to the other side. Oh, I got polyfill in my face. <laughs> okay, so come back around a couple of these stitches. This is the opposite side here. And tie it off. And then just put your yarn into the inside of the body. Stretch it out. And it's hidden. Awesome. And I have this crochet hook actually. I can just pull this through. There we go. Oops. Lost some polyfill. <laughs> Shove it back in there. <laughs> and there it is. Your otter is complete. Oh my gosh, how adorable is this? I'm going to stretch it out, make it look like an otter. <laughs> it looks so funny. Oh my gosh. Thank you all so much for watching and learning how to make this cute little otter. I hope you enjoyed all of these videos that I've made. I've made this one actually for the Valentine's Day puns, but it is just so cute for any child, anybody who likes otters. <laughs> cute little amigurumi toys. So thanks so much for Red Heart Yarns for providing this yarn today. Big thank you to my dad for filming this tutorial and editing it and posting it up for us on YouTube. And big thank you to you for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!